Hey guys, uh, my name is Greg. I work for Elisa's Tech Support, and today we're going to go over some of the basic settings for the DM10. Um, when you first power it on and you get in here, you're going to want to adjust some of these settings in order to make sure that uh, um, that it's triggering the way that you like and, and your style of playing uh, reacts to the drums as you expect it to. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to look at the global trigger sensitivity setting. In order to do that, uh, press the utility button and then press F3 Trig and you'll notice trigger sensitivity is automatically highlighted and the default setting is medium. If you play the drums harder, if you, if you bang on them really hard, you're probably going to want to set this to low or medium. Um, if you are playing a lighter style, um, you're going to want to set that to high. Lighter hits on the drum are going to react with a, with a, uh, a higher level of sound. Once you actually set it to where you want, for example, I'm going to leave this on high, is you're going to want to press the exit button and get back a couple of times to get back to the main screen. Uh, in order to adjust the individual triggers, um, uh, what we'll do is we'll go into the X trig field, which is the X trig button right there. Um, and then you're going to want to choose your trigger that you want to adjust. In this case, we're going to adjust the snare head. But as you can see, you can adjust head, rim, um, the cymbals, um, everything in here. So for today, we're going to choose snare head. Now you'll notice you can use the cursor buttons to highlight any of the fields. Um, so right now, once we get in there, we want to highlight the sensitivity field. Um, basically, sensitivity is um, when, you're, when you're striking the trigger, with a certain amount of force, if you increase this sensitivity, you'll notice that the lower the setting, the lower the sound that comes out with the same amount of force when you're hitting the trigger. Um, so once you set that where you want, typically I keep this, I keep the sensitivity in the 90s somewhere. Um, you're going to want to go into uh, a couple of other settings. And the other settings that we want to look at today is threshold and re-trigger. Um, basically, to get there from the same screen, press the F2 button, trig, and you'll get into this screen right here. And you'll notice you can use the cursor uh, buttons to highlight either threshold or re-trigger. Now, threshold, uh, basically, this is going to help to eliminate any ghost hits. Um, or you know, if you're playing along and, and you accidentally hit the trigger a second time um, and you didn't want that sound to come out, you know, it's a light hit or something, the threshold actually eliminates any of those lighter hits. Um, so if you, if basically, if we're, if we're playing this, if we're just playing along and then you increase the threshold, you'll notice, see, at this point with the same amount of force, it's not picking up those hits unless I hit it a little bit harder. I uh, just eliminate, so secondary hits, things like that, um, will, will be eliminated as you increase that threshold level. Uh, typically, most people keep it right around maybe the 14, 15 area. The last setting that we want to look at today is the re-trigger setting. So use the cursor buttons and highlight the re-trigger field. If you want to eliminate any secondary hits, re-trigger will, will eliminate those secondary hits as you increase this field. So you'll notice if you're, if you're playing a, you know, a roll or if you're playing a, uh, you know, like a flam or, or something like that, um, and you increase this re-trigger setting, See, you're only hearing maybe two or three, and I'm and I'm hitting I'm hitting the trigger four or five or six times. Um, so as you as you decrease this re-trigger setting, and you get to the lower amounts, you'll you'll see or you'll hear that uh, every single roll, every single flam, every 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 time that the uh, that the trigger is struck by your stick, that you'll hear every individual sound. So we'll we'll do this. The, the settings that most people keep it on in order to pick up all of the dynamics of, the, of, of your style in every hit. Um, if you want that to happen, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set threshold, you know, in the lower area, around 15. You're going to want to set re-trigger uh, lower as well. Usually I keep that really low, right around 4 or 5 or 6. Um, basically so it picks up every single strike of the trigger. Now once you actually set everything the way that you want it to be set in so that uh, your playing style is, is, is coming out as you want it to be, um, you need to save those settings. Um, basically, if you don't save those settings when you power off the DM10 module and you power it back on, those settings won't be saved. 
Uh, to do that, what you do is you press the utility button, and then you press F4 Sys, F3 OS, and then F4 Mem. And you'll notice it says write protection on. The default setting is on. So you can actually change that to off. And then you go down here and you press the store button. It'll say store settings. You press yes. And then uh, it'll say settings stored and that screen will disappear. And now all your settings are saved. Now if you press the exit button, you get back to the, to the main screen. Now what we can do is we can actually power off the DM10 module. We can power it back on. And once it actually powers up, we're going to go back into our settings, and I'll show you that the settings actually store. They would not store if you didn't turn off the off. I'm sorry, off the right protection feature. Um, so again, utility. Uh, we're going to press uh, F3 trig to look at the global trig sensitivity. It's still set to high as we set it a little while ago. And we can exit this, and you can press the X trig button. You'll see sensitivity is still set in the 90s. If you press F2 trig, you'll notice that the threshold and the retrigger setting are still set to what we set it to earlier on. And that's how you set up your DM10 to get playing as quickly as possible.